I actually have three very good friends who were sexually abused by their fathers, two biological and one with their stepfather when they were very young children. Today they're bright, successful, beautiful women who have risen above that place, although will always, of course, remain a very real and painful part of their lives. But I wanted readers to understand that if this issue is touching their lives or the life of someone they care about, it is possible to leave that place behind and move forward into a brighter future. I researched the subject matter actually quite extensively. Yes, I did spend a lot of time talking with the women I just mentioned and learning about their journeys forward and the difficulties they had achieving that place. But I also have a writer friend who's a psychologist and social worker who has worked with teens, both boys and girls, whose lives have been touched by sexual abuse. My younger daughter is a counselor at a facility for children who have been removed from their homes for many reasons, including sexual abuse. And I have psych nurse friends who have had to deal with the most negative fallout from this issue. And then there were reader stories, dozens of them. So I spent countless hours listening and connecting with many people in many different places around this issue and really gaining some understanding of the issue. I tend to be a much more in-your-face kind of person than the silently accepting type. So I think I connected with Ann more than I did with Kaylee as far as which twin I was the most like. I empathize completely with Kaylee, who so wants the right kind of love but won't let herself accept it. I have experienced bad and even abusive relationships in my past before I met my husband, John, and I think he's suffered a little bit because of it. It was pretty much love at first sight, but it took years to truly trust him. I'm kind of sorry for that. But I also feel empathy for Rayanne, who's starved for real affection, despite plenty of attention. Both girls are in dire need of love, and without the most basic thing, this is a really lonely world. So I'd have to say I empathize with both of them. It's very difficult to tackle all the subjects I talk about on a young adult level because they're hard and because especially sexual abuse, which is something that we're kind of squeamish about talking about. You know, we don't want to scare young people, but we also need them to be aware of it and to develop an empathy for it. So, yes, it's difficult to write about these issues, and especially this, which has scenes that we're very uncomfortable (laughs) to write about. It's a great surprise to find myself a best-selling author, and not only because I write in verse, but also because no writer could ever predict this kind of success. I knew I had a knack for storytelling, and I knew I could put words down on paper. I knew I had important stories to tell, and I knew I had a certain flair for poetry. But to put all that together and create books that readers love and build that into a readership that has become this amazing, like in four years, was beyond even my wildest imagination. I would say that I'm thrilled to bring readers to books, to give them important stories, and certainly poetry that speaks to their hearts.